Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. Today we're going to try to install this SSD here, which is the Kingston uh, Air 400 480 gb SSD into this laptop. But first, we gotta move all of the data from the hard drive itself here onto this SSD, and and we'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you have to make sure is that your files in your hard drive is smaller than that. Than the capacity of this SSD so that you can move all of the files to here including your operating system now the laptop I'm using is the X552XL here for ASUS which is about six years now so it's a very good time for me to upgrade its speed by installing this SSD inside. Before I begin to teach you how to transfer the files from the hard drive to SSD, uh, actually I've tried to put this SSD in and boot uh, the hard drive using the external hard drive reader here, but it somehow it doesn't seem to work. So now I'm going to connect the SSD using the USB and transfer the file directly from the hard disk to SSD and then later on put this inside the laptop and then put it from there. So let us begin. So first, let us just install this SSD inside, which I have installed it here. And now it detects it. And we're going to move on how to transfer it from the laptop to SSD. And the software we're using is the Micro Reflect. I'll put a down link down in the description below. And uh, let's see if this one connects. So here we are in the Micro Reflect here. I hope you can see properly. And then we're going to start to clone this disk from the Toshiba hard drive which is a 500 gig one onto the disk 2 so uh, let's click this one and then click clone this disk okay. the source is our hard drive and then and then we select and then we set a disk to clone 2 which is our Sega expansion now it's displaying Sega expansion here because I actually got this uh, this SSD reader or you can say hard disk reader from the SSD from the Seagate external hard drive here so let's just set it this and then do a next and, and click next again and then click finish and ok and then it's going to take some time uh, to transfer all of the files onto this SSD and I'll time it and let you know how long it will take um, Based on my checking just now, this hard disk has about 230 gigs inside. So I think it will take some time for it to transfer from the hard disk to SSD. So the cloning process has been completed. And as you can see, it uses one and a half hour. And now we're just going to shut down the PC, the laptop here. And then move over to switch the hard disk out with the SSD. Okay, unplug the power source and flip over the laptop here. Now I've already removed the back panel here, this one, which you have to do by uh, two screws here and then slide it up towards yourself and then you can put it out. This is what you'll see. And then I'm going to remove the hard disk here. Slide it out and then put it out. So this is the hard disk inside here. Still have to remove four screws on, on both sides. Uh, on both all and, and all sides. Okay, the hard disk is out here. This is the 500 gig hard disk here, and put it aside. We're going to put this SSD in with this orientation, and screw the four screws here again. And now we're just going to slide this back into here. Which you see, it should fit properly, and then screw the hard disk case onto the laptop again. Okay, so before we put the back panel on, let's just try to see if we can boot this PC first. There you go. We do the Windows again, and everything is working properly. And as you can see, we are only booting from our SSD, and everything looks exactly the same. And let's try and open it to see how far it is. This is the first pull up, so everything should be a little bit slow. 
but once you use it for some time it will go gain up to speed so that's it for me guys thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe and share with your friends if you find this useful and i'll see you guys next time bye bye